The recorded voices were faint, sometimes hard to make out, but the chaos in the cockpit rang through with chilling clarity. The pitot-static system is found on all aircraft, large or small. External ports measure outside air pressure to provide data on altitude and speed. If these ports are blocked, the plane's computers receive false data and generate false warnings. But why these ports would be blocked was a mystery. Robotic vehicles searched for the missing piece of the puzzle, and what they found stunned investigators. Captain Schreiber's static port was completely blocked with tape. Investigators now learned what happened. Just before AeroPru 603 lifted off from Lima, maintenance workers cleaned the aircraft. A worker covered the static ports with tape to protect them. This is standard procedure. But he forgot to remove the tape. It was a small oversight with catastrophic results. Now that investigators had the answer to the mysterious loss of Aero Peru 603, the lawsuits began. In November 1996, a Miami lawyer took on the case on behalf of 41 passengers and crew, arguing that the manufacturer, Boeing, was liable for the accident. Boeing argued that Aero Peru was at fault, not its 757, an Aero Peru worker taped the static port, which is marked with clear warnings. Boeing also blamed Captain Eric Schreiber. It was his job to visually inspect the aircraft before taking off. In 1999, Boeing and Aero Peru decided to settle the lawsuits out of court. Families and loved ones received an exceptional settlement, averaging a million dollars US per victim. The damages were high because of the terrible way the passengers and crew on Aero Peru died. The disaster helped sink Aero Peru. Combined with increased competition and rising debt, the national airline went bankrupt in 1999. Boeing increased training on pitostatic problems and issued new regulations about unapproved static port covers. Since 1996, there has not been another pitostatic failure like the one on Aero Peru 603.